Good morning, you guys. I am a mess in all the ways right now. I just got done with a good cry. And I just had to share this message with you guys. Um, so I'm sitting in a gym parking lot in Hurricane, Utah. I'm running my first retreat down in Zion National Park today. It's a sold out retreat. We've got a really powerful team of healers coming and I've got a music playlist for my people. And I, man, <laughs> I just got done with a good old heart cry. Um, if you guys would have met me 10 years ago, you would have met a very different person. <laughs> I was thinking about this last night. 10 years ago, you would have met a woman who was four months pregnant with her fourth child in a very all encompassing religion, very out of alignment with herself. And if you would have told me at that time that I was out of alignment with myself, I would have been like, what are you talking about? <laughs> Cause I didn't even know what that meant. I didn't know. <laughs> and man, the last decade of my life has been freaking insane from getting out of that religion and losing literally every single person that I knew to getting divorced and all of, if anybody's gone through that, especially having four kids, it's not easy to then getting in a horrible relationship that had a lot of silver linings, but I lost everything. Some of you have heard my story. I lost literally everything. I went through a bankruptcy after that because I hadn't healed any of my people pleasing patterns. I said yes to whatever he wanted. <laughs> he saw me coming from a mile away, took advantage of that. I lost everything. I did not have a penny to my name. When I walked out of that relationship, I lost my car going through a bankruptcy. I won't go into details. Lost child support, alimony, literally, literally had nothing. <laughs> it was very scary. Was given the blessing of so many healing opportunities. And that's why I was crying. Cause I was listening to this song that I've probably listened to hundreds of times. It's called Vuela con el Viento, which in Spanish means fly with the wind. It's about an eagle. And when I did, I got that song when I did ayahuasca in Costa Rica, they played that song and the eagle actually appeared to me in my vision. You have visions on ayahuasca and the, it guided me through that whole journey and the eagle I never thought I'd have like a spirit guide animal <laughs> ever, but I do because it was so meaningful to me. And the meaning of the, the eagle is that you are connected to the divine and that you're being led on a divinely guided path. And that's exactly what has happened ever since then. And I was just like, man, feeling like I, I had a friend recently tell me that when he first did plant medicines, he felt like his whole life fell apart. And I was like, yeah. Mine did too. <laughs> My old life, it totally fell apart. And it had to because that life I had built in this ego structure, it was an ego structure that I built around being what I thought I needed to be, what other people wanted me to be, right? Like it was so out of alignment. I didn't even know myself anymore. And going through so many tiny moments anytime you're presented with are you going to choose old patterns or new patterns which one are you going to do after you get some new insight and learning I just kept choosing new patterns new patterns new patterns and this part I really wanted to share with you guys along that journey <laughs> there was a moment where I was invited to a very high level mastermind in my first year of entrepreneurship I was like I can't afford this mastermind <laughs> I was like still kind of in survival mode but I had the strongest intuitive feeling. It was $5,000 to go to this mastermind, okay? And at that time, that was like everything. <laughs> that was like everything I had. And I, at the first moment, I didn't even have $5,000 to my name. I was still building my, my life out of a freaking hole. And somehow, through a weird series of events, I, I went up, my bank account went up by $5,000 more than it normally did. And I just had, it was just this deep knowing. And I was like, I'm going to go. And I went and it was absolutely life course altering. And one of the people that I met there, his name's Tony Child. He's here on Instagram. You should follow him. Tony, he's on my podcast too. He tells his story, but Tony used to be a banker and he went through a similar thing. He ended up doing life coaching with Bob Proctor. If anybody knows Bob Proctor, he just passed away not too long ago, but he's like the big law of attraction guy. Tony ended up being his number one consultant for years and then started his own company elevated worldwide. And I met Tony at that mastermind and we decided to start trading some coaching. Well, Tony's program is basically like you do some workbooks every morning 
And I started getting my ass up early at 4.30 in the morning and meditating and doing Tony's program. And one of the months, there's a theme every month, and one of the months is visualization. And this is what I want to share with you guys, how powerful this is, what I realized what happened to me. So in my visualization month, you write down like how you envision your life, right? And a lot of this was career-based for me, what I was working on at the time. And I started writing every, so you get your vision and then you write it for the, this is probably the next six months. You write what your vision statement is. You have like a purpose statement and a vision statement. My vision, I started just shortening it. I messaged Tony this morning because I was like, damn dude, my vision was books, retreats, coaching, and speaking. And as I was getting ready to come down here for this retreat, I was like, holy shit, I did it. (laughs) My first published book came out in December. I have a thriving coaching company that I'm so grateful for. I'm speaking at KetoCon and I've got another speaking event on a huge stage with some really amazing speakers and personal development coming in July. And um, I'm running my first retreat. It's sold out here in Zion in this beautiful location. We've got so many powerful people coming in. One of them is Catherine Dixon, who, if you followed me for any bit of time, you've probably heard me talk about her. She changed my life. And that song, Vuela con el Viento, came on when I was pulling up to Catherine's house to pick her up and bring her down here. And I was like, dude, I just got so caught up in emotion because I was so grateful. I remember going to her house for the first time and having all these limiting thoughts like, gosh, can I even afford this? Is this even responsible? Like, what am I? I don't even know what I'm in for. Sounds weird. I got so much shit to do, blah, blah, blah. She changed my life. Ayahuasca changed my life. I, that song, I found it through ayahuasca. And just putting in the work consistently of identifying what it is that I want, what brings me joy, and that what feels like is a win for other people too. Over and over and over and over and over and over and over. And I just want to share that because like, if you're in that journey, because I know some of you are, some of you might not be, some of you might be in that place where I would have been 10 years ago. Of like, what are you talking about? Yeah, I'm aligned with myself. (laughs) But some of you are in that journey, that phase of your journey where you're learning that you built your life up in this paradigm of what you're supposed to do, who you're supposed to be, right? And when you wake up and you realize that and you realize you need to make some hard changes in your life, it's freaking scary. (laughs) Because you got to change some big things sometimes. But I'm just here to say like, man, it's worth it. There were so many hard, hard nights, lonely nights, crying, like wondering if I've gone crazy, is something wrong with me? (laughs) But I can tell you on the other side of that, I live in so much joy now. I'm so aligned with myself and I like everything that I'm doing is honoring of myself and others. I'm so much more connected to the divine. Yeah, I'm okay. I'm just, I, I'm more than okay. I'm caught up in, in like happy emotion, gratitude. So much gratitude, ma'am. Gratitude for all the people who came into my life, who were gifts, like so much of what we're asking for. It's like coming at us all the time and a lot of the times through people. So receive, you know. And when you get those intuitive nudges that are like, go this way, go this way, you got it, go this way, come on, believe in yourself, because I'm telling you, there's so much joy and rich, rich, deep connection and life on the other side of that scary moment of like, can I believe in myself? Can I believe that this is coming intuitively through me from something bigger than me, from God, the universe, or whatever words you put on it? So I just had to share because like, I was like, damn. The power of intention is real. The power of aligning yourself and listening to yourself and taking that brave, courageous action is so incredible. I'll use TikTok. Thank you guys for your sweet comments. I'll use TikTok as an example. I kept getting this intuitive hit. Get on TikTok. Get on TikTok. And I admit, I fully admit, I like didn't listen to it for like a year. (laughs) And finally, it was just so strong. It was like, are you going to freaking listen? And I've got like over 200,000 people following me on there. And so many of them have been like, thank you so much for coming on this platform and sharing your information with us, you know? And it's just been such a joy for me. And I'm so grateful to be able to serve and help. 
there too. It's just another example of just listening. And I can't wait. I cannot wait for this retreat. I got one of my clients coming all the way from the UK. This is such a self-love move for her to do something like this. I've got probably at least half the people, probably about 75% of the people are clients that are either current or I've worked with before. And when we're, when you're diving in with people in soul work, it's like, I'm like literally kind of like jump up and down and hug them when I see them. So let's see, you're in that phase of your life and it's been tough. Yeah. Just keep listening to yourself. Keep believing those intuitive nudges. I, that's why I was so caught up in emotion. Cause it was like, if any of you have ever run like a marathon and it was really, really hard and you get caught up in the emotion at the finish line. Cause you're like, shit, man, I worked my ass off for this. It's like that times a million <laughs> making hard life changes and listening to yourself and honoring what's coming intuitively through you. Thank you guys. So keep listening, keep listening to your soul. I'm telling you, whatever's coming through you, like, especially when it's like something where it's serving others and creating wins for others, but it also feels like a win for you. That's it. That's it. And if you have a heart that wants to serve and give and love, like we need you roll up your sleeves and get to fucking work. <laughs> okay. It's going to be awesome for you and create an awesome ripple effect in the world. And yeah, I'm just so grateful, man. I'm so grateful for all the moments that I, in which I was courageously listened and had faith and trusted. It's so worth it, you guys. So that's all. Thank you so much for your sweet comments. I didn't think anybody was me up. <laughs> Thanks for joining me. Okay. Have a wonderful day. Bye guys.